Hello everyone! We're back again. We have about 60 years left to wrap up this campaign, um, by which point we will hopefully form Rome. <clears throat> we may have to break some truces to do so, but we'll see. And it looks like we're jumping right back into a war um, against the Commonwealth of Austria and what's left, the remnants of the HRE. So I'm going to take a quick look at our truces because it's been a couple days since I've gotten to stream. Um, and I don't play these campaigns off stream. Um, <clears throat> we need provinces from Brabant. Brabant, however you say it. That's 64. France is 66. Spain is 68. Those are the primary <clears throat> people that we... Uh, still need provinces from, assuming we get what we need from Austria in this war. We did pick up... Alright, cat, come on. <clears throat> You're going to have to go under your chair. We have you this nice chair with a blanket on it for you to sit on. Um, <clears throat> I would love for him to be able to sit on my chair or my desk, but he sits like right in front of the monitor. Just like front and center and can't see half my screen, and then he likes to lick <clears throat> my hands on the keyboard, and I mean, it's super sweet. I love him to death, but um, then when he's licking at my hands, he starts like pressing keys and stuff, so just can't have that happening. All right, so we have to protect this siege. Um, <clears throat> that army is heading up to past 62K. I think in that case, what I'd like to do, that's straight up artillery, 42 stacks. Oh, so, th oh, no, those armies don't go together. <coughs> um, this army has no artillery in it. I'm guessing these two armies are supposed to hang out together. I should probably start naming my armies. This is the infantry support for our siege force. I'm going to move this army there so I can quickly reinforce Wien if we need to. Um, I took care of the rebels. We can get those provinces back. Um, Alsace and Corsan joined the coalition. Well, yeah. Those are things that are happening. We can't really stop coalitions at this point because... We're just going to have to take so much land so quickly. Um, oh, they're going into Dauphine. We might be able to catch that 2k stack. Nice. Just gained a bunch of money. <clears throat> I am a fan of that. Let's get those provinces back. That army can come back up north. Um, <clears throat> it looks like the Timurids should be fine down here. Um... I'm going to tell them to play defensive so that hopefully they'll take care of these armies for us. It's like we're not going to catch that stack in Dauphine. <clears throat> we need to get these two stacks close together though. Um, thankfully this giant Polish army isn't really doing much. Um, the Commonwealth is renting seven whole infantry from the Ottomans. Wow. <clears throat> How terribly scary that is. 36k. And if they want to try to siege that, I will definitely engage them. Salzburg. I feel like this is the exact same coalition that, um, that we were just fighting. It's just, <clears throat> now it's reforming, it's, well not, we weren't fighting them. Uh, they had formed against us and then disbanded and now it seems like they're just forming again. Um, <clears throat> hopefully the Timurids know what they're doing. <clears throat> 36k, yeah, we have 39. The Timurids have 39, 14 already, yeah, they're moving to reinforce. 
So they should win that fight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and Bavaria is moving in to reinforce. <clears throat> Actually, the Timurids are getting completely slaughtered. Well, maybe not anymore. What's their mill tech? 27? What's Austria's? 28. I didn't think that would make that much of a difference. Uh, okay, this is our fire general, so this is the guy that we want. Our fire damage general. He still has three fire pips too, so that's not bad. And he has 31 artillery. Um, so if this isn't a stack wipe, it's going to be a ton of casualties at a minimum. That's, these Polish armies are pretty well balanced. It's pretty scary. <laughs> like I was saying, if it's not a stack wipe, and it was, spoiler alert... Um, yes, looks like the Timurids won there. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't want to run through Spain's rebels. They can handle the rebels on their own, honestly. Uh, anything that weakens them is beneficial in my book. Because we will be fighting them at some point. All right, so we could chase this Austrian army potentially. I feel like I want to try and peace out Bavaria. Although we did just slaughter their army, but I'm sure they're going to be re-recruiting re it. Um, Nuremberg, <clears throat> where are they? I feel like I've looked these guys up five times at this point. Um, yeah, we'd have to siege some forts. We could get to Ulm, and that would give us access to Nuremberg. Unfortunately, that's a fort level 8 fort. It's not... Uh, those are not the most fun things to siege down, let me tell you. <clears throat> Choose of Avant 64, okay. We may just push for these armies up here with our nice 68k stack. Um, I think this army can head that way. <clears throat> so we'll have a nice naval battle here. Hopefully we capture some ships. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, we did. We actually captured a heavy. Nice. I like that. We need as many heavies as we can get. Um, in order to eventually fight Great Britain. <clears throat> There's a very good chance that um, all the money we get in the near future is just going to go towards building heavy ships. Where is this army going? Bosnia? It's 96,000 Polish troops. Um, <clears throat> Brabant is fighting Russia? Like, what? Oh, yeah, they're fighting Russia and Spain. We've got a nice train rolling through over here, too. Alright, I want to catch this 54k stack. If we can catch it with 42 stacks of artillery, um, that would be some serious damage that we could do. We also have, oh wait, hills. We get there on the 21st, I get there on the 22nd. <clears throat> so it looks like the Timurids got cut off there. Woods is only one, only minus one, which isn't too bad. Um, I don't know that the Timurids win this. Oh, wait, they're only 26. Timurids are, what, 27? Maybe. Do they have a nice, well-balanced army? They do. They have a really good general, though. Uh, how's our guy? <clears throat> I think I'd like to give this guy our fire damage general and... 
Let's see if we can engage here. That's the grasslands that way. They don't get any sort of terrain bonus. <clears throat> so yeah, this army is going to come over here and help us, which leaves their boys out to dry. That's unfortunate for them, I suppose. Um, insanely nice casualties on that Polish army, though. That was beautiful. Uh, we might actually be able to move up here, and that's a 38k stack with a really good general. I was going to say we might be able to move up and stack wipe it, but it's not looking like it. Uh, Cremona. Hopefully we can catch that those guys. Um, <clears throat> Brandenburg stack or Poland stack? Not sure which we want to engage. Ten already. Ten already. Four, four, six, three. Three, five, six, three. So those are pretty close generals. Um, I think we're gonna chase the Polish stack, especially if they split up like that. All right, <clears throat> so we have Wien, we have our war goal. Um, we just need to piece out some of these other nations. Particularly Nuremberg and Bavaria. Uh, what do we need for peace, anyway? <clears throat> so we need these three, and we need Wien. And... So we have to take at least that. That's 44, that's 53. I think I'd rather go with the 44, even if it is a little bit of border gore. We don't actually need those three provinces. And this would still connect us through Italy and whatnot. Um, all right, that's another set of dudes deaded. Uh, let's see. I think we need okay, 24, so 31 is plenty. Um, I think I'm going to have this army come over here and support this siege. That way we can push into Nuremberg and Bavaria. Ooh, there's a 25k Polish stack that has no leader. That's juicy. That's a super juicy target. <clears throat> Insanely juicy, one might say. Um, so I have to siege this fort, then that fort. Um... that for it. So let's move this army up here. We'll send in our actual siege force after we've kind of scouted the area. <clears throat> Don't want to run our cannons straight in blind. That's a lot of rebels down there. We might have to send an army over there to deal with that. That should be a stack wipe, I imagine. Yes, it was. And they're coming to... Let's see, they'll get a crossing penalty. <coughs> I imagine they're gonna stop, yeah. I figured they wouldn't keep pushing through there like that. Um, all right, that guy is dead. Let's see if we can... I swear it said he was 50%. I'm, like, super sure that he said it was 50%. Wait, are we against the Ottomans now, too? Oh, this is the this is the Condottieri. Well, those Condottieri are going to be pretty sad that they got hired out. Because they're about to be really dead. Oh, our stability is not doing well. One stability. Uh, do we have any overextension? We do for a little while. After that, I think I might 
boost our stability even though it's pretty expensive. We don't really have anything else to do with our admin. I don't particularly want to take something so far ahead of time. What? How do we keep like barely missing all of these armies? Can someone explain that to me? Well, I might hop on this Polish stack though. It's pretty tempting. Um, 48,000. I thought it would be a wipe, but we could definitely do some serious damage. I'd like to catch some of these ships out as well, like 32 transports. Who cares about 32 transports? And we have 29 heavies and a flagship. They only have 10 galleys, we have 52. That seems like a good fight for us. We might not want to cross a channel into them because our naval tradition kind of is terrible. Um, they did not take core few. That's nice. <clears> hmm. <throat> um, wonder if these two armies are going to try to converge on us. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Just trying to play very carefully. We don't have a lot of manpower, especially considering that we need to reinforce almost 14,000. Um, so, I guess we need to start sieging this fort down, actually. Where did it happen to the Timurids? Did they get like completely stack wiped? They had a hundred thousand people up in here. Maybe their army is somewhere else. I'm not sure. It just seems kind of sketchy that all of a sudden the Timurids are just gone. Oh, here we go. So if we can get these guys 50%, there it is. That's gonna be an easy wipe. Uh, we're in the grasslands. I think we want to come to the highlands and chill. Uh, we don't know where that army went. We're going to get a crossing penalty. And we're going to get the terrain bonus. And this is our fire general. <clears throat> yeah, I was about to say, I don't think that they want to do that. It's like, eh, Poland, I don't think that that would end the way that you think it will end. What's this stack? So yeah, we'll stop taking attrition there. That's fine. Um, I don't think we want to engage the 48k stack with the 42k right there. It's just too close. Um, they're going to this gulf. Let's see if we can catch, that's just transports. I mean, that would just be a bloodbath. Gulf of whatever this is. Gulf of Gabez, Gabies. Um, how did they just like, they just like teleported. I swear people are just teleporting around. It's crazy. Oh, where are you going? Bay of Napoli. Right, August 1st. July, there you go. So we're going to take the crossing penalty, but we have five, six times the ships. They only have four heavies. Um, we should now be able to siege down Nuremberg. Oh, it's in this. We have to occupy this fort first, I think. I believe there's just so many forts in here that it's see how did that not it it said where we we're gonna get a crossing penalty. how are they just sailing away constantly this doesn't make any sense are they just quicker they have heavies too what's that Austrian fleet 24 transports maybe we just go up here and engage where are they going Tyrrhenian nope they canceled that all right, 
So this fort is what we have to siege next, I believe, to get to Nuremberg. Um, all right, so how are things looking over here? We can just start eating some dudes again. Eating some stacks. Stacks for breakfast. That's a lot of guys sieging down Constantinople, though. Many men. Many men are sieging down Constantinople. <clears throat> Alright, well, I guess we can just keep playing chase with this fleet of transports or whatever we've been doing. Um, that's pretty good unity. Point 0.3, that'll be one point. Actually, if we do six. Yeah, oh, that's point 0.5, so... What's our unity? I guess we can check our unity here in a minute. All right, so the stacks are splitting up, which is what we want. Looks like Bavaria would just leave. Um, let's take their capital so that we can get money, so we can build heavy ships, so that we can fight England. It's a bunch of so that we's. Um, this Nuremberg stack's coming down here. Uh, let's see. Influential trading family? Yes. Also, <clears throat> gonna have to run to the bathroom real quick. Uh, just finished dinner not too long ago. Drank a bunch of water and stuff. I'll be right back. feel better. Sorry for that. Uh, I thought I'd be able to make it um, the entire stream without taking a bathroom break since it's not going to be very long today. Unfortunately, we don't have a ton of time. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying all of this action, though. I feel like it's giving me pretty good practice for the next run, which should be a world conquest run. All right, so yeah, let's get Bavaria the heck out of here. Um, good money plus war reps. So that's minus one. Um, now we can walk over to Nuremberg. We can piece them out. Let's chase this army from Brandenburg. Um, it looks like they're coming potentially to siege Corfu. Oh, we finally caught one of their navies. So that's nice. Um, Milan's going to get their place back. We like that. Uh, what else is going on? I suppose we should start building more heavy ships. Because they take forever to build. Unless we're going to get... Um, no, light ship and transport is next. Finally catching up in Diplo, though. That's nice. Alright, so heavies. I think we just need to build one in, like, every single place that we can, that we can remotely, hopefully, afford. It's 0 0.72 a month. We're building, if we build 30, that'd be 2.1, no, 21 a month, right? 
three times seven is 21. Yeah. So we should be able to afford that. And that would put us at only 59. Well, we're gonna need more than that. I do believe. I do believe. Um, I suppose we can just build them along here too. Build them everywhere. Uh, that's not bad, that was pretty quick. All right, so if we build 61, that puts us at 90. Um, how much, how many ducats is that? 61 heavy ships, holy crap. It'd be like 42 or something like that, right? A bit more than 42. 43. Technically, we can afford it. Barely ish. Um, it'll actually help once these get cored because then we'll lose a bunch of corruption. All right. Um, Brandenburg is who will want to peace out next. So we're going to send a bunch of armies up that way. I'm gonna try to catch these guys. Um, no ships captured, that's fine. Our fleet's pretty much intact, so I kinda wanna go engage these guys. They're going to the Aegean over here. Let's see if we can chase them around a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's send our main siege force towards Berlin. Uh, we can stand there. This is our main siege army. They'll be the ones actually sieging Berlin here in a few minutes. Otherwise, we'll suppose we need an army to come deal with these rebels at some point. All right. <clears throat> Army von Nuremberg, Nuremberg, which is the Nuremberg Army. They're 50% of the way to Epirius, so that's what we want to go to, because we want to kill the crap out of them. Kill them all. Only 16k guys, and they're all going to be dead. That should put <coughs> Nuremberg at, like, Super low enthusiasm, yeah. Alright, so money, <clears throat> war reps, very good. Oh, we can't force religion too. That would be kind of fun. What if we do it this way? So we could force religion just to be jerks. Let's do it. I just want to. Um, yeah, we don't want to vassalize them. We have no use for them as a vassal, although I do think we have an open slot. Who should and could we vassalize? I wonder who'd be useful to vassalize at this point. I'd like another vassal. Just don't know who. Probably shouldn't spend too much time thinking about it. Malwa, maybe. I assume they wouldn't, yeah, they have minus one million reason to be our vassal. Um, you know what, does anybody have reconquest CVs on Brabant? Trier does. And the Palatinate. <coughs> Could we release the Palatinate if we took something? I don't actually remember where exactly it is they spawn, somewhere over here. But yeah, Nuremberg wouldn't give us anything. Trier would kind of be the best option, although we're not fighting them right now. Um, oh, they're right here. Huh. Well, 
still can't find any of their actual cores. 